Hello my friends, welcome. In this series of videos we are working on uh, different labs that you should be practicing for AZ-104 Microsoft Azure Administrator exam. All these labs are available in the GitHub under Microsoft Azure Administrator uh, under the Microsoft Learning uh, GitHub account and uh, we have already completed several videos for all these labs we started working on uh, the manage virtual machines and we have already created the first three tasks under this lab and in this lab we're going to complete task four which is register the microsoft insights and the alerts management resource providers and then we're going to deploy the zone, zone resilient virtual machine scale sets by using the azure portal so let's get to it so in the azure portal open the azure cloud shell select the parcel and we're just going to run these two particular commands and that would be it so let's go there to our portal so all you need to do is click on that one if you're creating it for the first time you may get a message to create a storage account if you do just just say okay and you you you'll be presented with the partial for 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 any reason if you get to the bass you will have this drop down window to come back to the partial okay so we're gonna run and register two different resource provider and it's very easy the command is registered easy resource provider and the provider namespace is Microsoft Insights that's what we're gonna need and another resource provider would be the alerts management okay and it's just said it's registered now and we're gonna run this and there we go uh, it says registering this is registered this is registering interesting so that may take a little bit of time to register but let it just uh, register itself and we'll just go and start working on um, this lab which is uh, task 4 deploy zone resilient azure virtual machine scale set by using the azure portal <laughs> So in this task, we need to deploy virtual machine scale set. So let's go that and uh, search for that in our Azure instance. So let's uh, search for that one. Uh, let's see if we find here is the scale set. So select that one. So once that's selected, just like any other resource, just click add. And once you click the add, uh, we're gonna configure it uh, as per this requirement so the name of the Azure subscription you're using so subscription you don't have to change anything resource group they're saying that create a new resource group for this exercise so we're gonna create that one and once that's created the scale set name of the scale set is going to be this region select one of the regions that support availability zones where you can provision Azure virtual machines different from the one you select used to deploy virtual machine earlier so in earlier we were using east uh, us so let's try maybe west us availability yeah it's still uh, it's it supports availability zone uh, choose zone one two three all three of them are chosen for this particular skill set okay and then image is Windows Server 2016 data center. So let's come back down over here. Windows 2016 data center. We got that one. As your spot instance is none. Uh, standard V2S3 is good. It's no. Uh, again, we're going to use the student username. And let's see, we're going to use this password uh, over here and verify the password. So once that's done, already have a Windows, no. Um, on the Disk tab, so we are done with this. Next, go to the Disk tab. Uh, on the Disk tab, create virtual machine. Uh, accept all the defaults. So we are really not doing anything under the disk. A premium SSD, everything is fine. So let's go to the networking. Uh, we're going to assign a particular VNet. So let's see. This is recommended is AC10408 RZ02 VNet. I think there is no change in the name. We'll still click on that and yeah, so so the recommended name, name is what we are getting, but the address range is 
probably going to be different yeah so i'm going to delete the default address range and put the one that we need uh, we're going to create a new subnet subnet zero and that will have this smaller address space available to us and once you create the new virtual machine network and return to the networking tab of the create virtual machine skill tip scale set blade the virtual network value will be automatically this virtual net okay okay so let's hit on okay <clears throat> so you see that network name is properly assigned uh, back on the networking tab create virtual machine uh, scale set click the edit network interface icon to the right of the network interface entry so create edit network interface is that the button edit network interface yeah so they're saying to click on that one uh, let's see uh, on the edit network interface blade in the ne network security group click advanced so here network security group we are click we clicked on the advanced and then create new under configure network security group top drop down list so here create new and let's see what are we creating we are creating this is not matching so let's see back on the networking create virtual machine set click edit interface icon advanced create new under configure network security group drop down list on the create network security group but specify the following so we just gonna, we just need to it's this is the new NAC that we are creating okay uh, click add an inbound rule so let's see click add an inbound rule and uh, we want to add this any star source any source port star source any source port star destination any destination port range is 80 okay then protocol is TCP let's select this one action is allow so allow is already selected priority 1010 1010 is priority already given and name is custom allow HTTP so uh, it's an it's a network security group that we are creating by the way right now click on add Okay, we are creating add and then back on the create network security group blade click OK so click OK and back on the network interface blade in the public IP address section click enable let's see public IP address let's enable that one and now we can hit OK and once you do that back on the networking tab create virtual machine skill set specify the following setting and leave others default uh, let's see over here uh, use load balancer use a load balancer yeah we're gonna use one uh, let's see and then load balancer options we're gonna use the azure load balancer that's good select the load balancer is the mss01b so that is already selected by default select backend pool is be pool be pool that's also selected by default uh, so I'm good with that uh, next we're gonna go to scaling we're gonna go to scaling okay let's see what we have in scaling uh, under the scaling tab uh, we want to set the initial instance count is 2 okay that's good and scaling policy is manual alright uh, everything else we are uh, selecting the default so let's go to the management okay on the management tab of the create virtual mission skill set blade ensure that the boot diagnostic option is enabled so make sure boot diagnostic is on that's good um, on the create storage account blade in the name text box type a unit valid storage account name and click ok so new it's already got something uh, by default and it should be unique 
and I'm not worried about that one so uh, we can click and go to go to the health okay under health you will need the name of the storage account in the next test oh, oh. <laughs> so let's go back and make sure uh, so one of four zero eight rg zero to drag one or two okay so let's go to here uh, health tab create for the review the default and do not make any change let's go to the advanced so let's go to the advanced okay i'm on the advanced tab um, specify the following setting so value is fixed spreading under the setting that is already selected so we are already there on the review plus create tab of the virtual machine ensure that validation passes so right now let's try review and create and validation has passed uh, from here let me copy this because the lab said we're gonna need this at a later time so I'm just gonna put it somewhere here alright so once that's done I'm just gonna create click on a create so now the deployment is in progress and we have successfully completed every single steps that we wanted to do in this particular task where we have created a zone resilient Azure machine scale set um, and we are in a minute or so we'll go into the resource group and uh, we should see our virtual machines deployed under this particular resource group uh, I'm actually just gonna pause, stop the video here and one, before we start the next lab we'll go and look at this resource group and then complete the final portion of this lab or this task series of tasks which is task 7 and we'll end the series of videos in the last one and then we'll uh, clean up our resources so once again thank you very much for watching the video if you like it please give me a thumbs up subscribe uh, for new videos I do a lot of different things and uh, good luck with the exam thank you